Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing some tips on starting a Roblox YouTube channel. I've picked up on a few things over the past few years while making videos on this channel, so I thought it would be helpful um, to those who are new to YouTube or thinking of starting. This video is also my voice reveal, so hi, <laughs> this is my voice. Um, but anyways, with that being said, let's get on to the video. These tips are going to be split into three categories, things to think about when making a channel, making videos, and some general tips. Also, ignore any bits of me breathing you might hear. I'm trying my best to cut it out without it sounding weird, but I might sound weird anyway because I've got braces and I have a lisp. So my first tip for this category is to pick a niche. Um, you may want to do this so your viewers know what to expect. For Roblox YouTube channels, this could be a game such as Bloxburg or Real High or something else such as making GFX or game developing. And then you may want to focus more into that chosen niche. For example, if you choose Bloxburg, you may want to specifically make roleplay videos, speed builds or commentary. I'd also recommend watching other YouTubers within your niche to gain inspiration because I find that to be helpful. Next is branding. This is your profile picture and your banner. You can make a GFX or art for this but if you don't know how to do either of those things you can look up tutorials online or you could commission someone else to do it. There are so many talented artists on Instagram um, who take commissions. Usually it's by Robux or real life money. For your banner, that's pretty simple, um, but again, buy tutorials online um, for that. Or maybe someone who you're commissioning could also be making banners as well. Moving on to the next category, this tip is helpful um, for coming up with the video ideas, which is to use trends outside your niche and make them fit your niche. This is really helpful for me and I've used it a few times in the past but it's also really good because it means you're not limited to the amount of video ideas you come up with because if you're using video ideas from your own niche um, you may find it difficult coming up with more ideas. An example of this is my video where I built a house in Boxburg only using three colours which was inspired by the free market challenge that was trending a couple of years ago. So now I'm going to be sharing a few tips for recording, editing and making thumbnails. When starting, um, you don't need to use expensive softwares for your videos and I honestly find that some softwares that are free are really good too. Um, for recording, I highly recommend OBS Studio, it's so good. And if you're making videos on your phone, you can use the screen record option which should be on Apple phones but I'm not sure about Android. For editing softwares, you can use Billo for mobile, which I've used for quite a while, or you can use CapCut, which is available on both mobile and PC. One extra tip for editing is to always, always, always rewatch and double check your video for mistakes after editing um, before you upload your videos because you don't want to upload your video to find that there's a mistake. It's happened to me before and it's not fun. And lastly, for thumbnails, I'd recommend Pixlr E for PC and Pixart and Fonto for mobile. You can find fonts um, on defont.com, they're free to download. And another thing I'd recommend for thumbnails is to find like a thumbnail style and stick to it um, because it just makes your channel look more organised. My last tip for this category is linked to intros and editing but make sure that you use copyright free music in your videos to avoid getting copyright strikes. You can find this if you just search up copyright free music on YouTube. However, my favourite place to get copyright free music is hellothematic.com. I've been using this since I first started making videos. All you have to do is create an account um, which is linked to your YouTube and then you can choose from many songs of different genres. When you find a song, click the download button to download it and then you should get this pop up. Um, make sure you click the YouTube icon to copy the credits and then you paste them in the description of your videos to avoid getting copyrighted. I like to keep all my credits in one Google Doc and then I just copy and paste the credits I need in each of my videos. Um, I love this website because 
most of the songs are free and it just makes it so easy to find copyright free music and also the music on this website is so good so much so that i have some songs on my playlist a quick moment for Fiji Blue as well because I was absolutely devastated when I received this email. It's so sad. First tip of the last category, patience is key. This is so important. You won't grow rapidly overnight and it does take time. So just be patient. I promise you it will all be worth it. This is pretty self-explanatory, but always remember to give credits whether you're taking inspiration from someone or you're using an overlay in your intro, just give credits because otherwise it's not a good look for you. Next is to not feel pressured to be consistent and prioritise yourself. Consistency is good, however you shouldn't feel pressured to be consistent. Making videos is time consuming and can be demotivating at times, so always remember to prioritise yourself. You should be making videos because you want to, not because you have to. Last but not least, have fun making videos. Like I said before, you should be making videos because you want to, so make sure you make videos that you enjoy making. And if you enjoy making your videos, it's very likely that your viewers will enjoy it too. So have fun. Those are all my tips, so I hope you found them helpful and I also hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!